Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 119, verse 67. <clears throat> David says, Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I have kept thy word. And David is speaking from personal experience. He was afflicted many, many times. Some of those times were from his own sin. He learned his lesson, but like with most of us, he had to learn it the hard way. Not that he had to, but he was too stubborn and sinful to learn it the easy way. Sound familiar? God's Word is important to God and important for us. If Christians don't know it and live it, God will give them a whipping that they won't soon forget. You say, oh, like I had one modern evangelical say to me, I'm glad my God isn't like that. That's just how he said it with us, with their usual lukewarm snicker on their face. No, of course your God isn't like that. But your God isn't the God of the Bible. You just pretend that he is. And your Jesus isn't the Jesus revealed in Scripture. You just pretend that he is. That's the way it is with a lot of them. Dare I say most of them. I don't know. In my experience, most, many, certainly. And they don't hear this kind of stuff in, in their churches. If you don't live for God, you don't live the Word of God, you don't respect the Word of God, and you're truly a child of God, you're going to get a whipping from God that you won't soon forget. There isn't a child, on, child of God on earth that doesn't need a whipping every now and then. God, God the Father will make sure we obey. Oh yeah, he'll make sure we are sanctified and become more sanctified. How painful the journey is to that point, that's up to us. The Bible says, happy are the people whose God is the Lord. In other words, happy are they who have enough sense to let God call the shots. Anyone who isn't smart enough to let God tell them how to behave deserves to be miserable, and they will be. <clears throat> Verse 68, Thou art good, and doest good. Teach me thy statutes. God does good because he is good. Makes sense. And he's good because he does good. But most of all, he does good because he is good. Because what we are comes out in what we do. God is good. That's why Everything that he does and says is good. No one is 100% bad. Even people who do bad things have some good qualities. But no one is good like God is good. Which is why people are in trouble. You say, well, I'm not perfect, but I'm willing to meet God halfway. And if I'm willing to do that, I think he'll be nice enough to let me into heaven. No, he will not. I don't know who you've been listening to. Maybe you've just been listening to your own warped mind, but it's not true. He will not let you into heaven. Our only hope is to have Jesus remove all of our sins and replace those sins with his perfect righteousness. God is good, and his holiness will not allow him to tolerate even one speck of bad. Study the whole Bible with me verse by verse at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen. That's all you have to do. Choose from four complete series going through the Bible. To be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's Word and click the Donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break. <music>